Daytime Live. Now, earlier in the show, we gave you a taste of Call of Duty Black Ops, and we know it was not enough. No, it wasn't. The developers are back to show us more, and this time they're showing us a whole new side of the single-player campaign. Let's go hands-on. All right, guys, here to show off more Black Ops is Mark Lamia coming back with us. Yay. Thank you so much. Now. All right, so uh, the team here is taking you deep behind enemy lines into the Soviet Union. You're in the Ural Mountains. You're actually in an SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft, and you're Copy providing that. intelligence oh. to these to your squad on the ground. They're doing a very uh, dangerous black operations, and as you can see, our player here is, is commanding the squad, and this is something totally different uh, for Call of Duty. Again, we really wanted to give players some new experiences, and so. And so how, how high up are you right now? Oh, uh, it's, that's classified. Probably 60,000 <laughs> 60, feet. 60, how's that? How's that? How's no, that? How's no, that? but you're very high up. You're not, this, you're not like hovering right above you're, the battlefield. It's like suborbital. You're, you're, right. you're actually, you're, these guys had to don spacesuits. Right. You're suborbital at this point. Now, um, what this demonstrates, I think, immediately is, you know, earlier in the show, we saw a helicopter just blowing the crap out of everything. You are going for very different tones, it looks like, from level to level. I mean, what's, what's the level of variety that we can expect from Black Ops? That is, you know, that, that's actually something we've been going for. Level of variety. So, pacing in this, there's a setup here, obviously, completely different than the all-out action that you just that you saw with Payback earlier. So, we're doing the setup here, and you're controlling the squad, but then... In a couple of seconds, what we're going to do is we're going to bring you down, and, and you're going to be able to play right on the ground. And so some of the so decisions the now that you've made in controlling that squad, now you're going to have to reap the consequences of that. That's right. That's right. So as you saw, you were positioned here right before this Soviet Spetsnaz squad was coming right before you, and you've been placed safely as they approach. Now, are, are, are you playing as a series of different characters from level to level, or is it kind of like a, a modern warfare tape where there's two or three characters and you revisit them? Now, there's going to be a couple primary characters. In this level, you're actually playing two, two different characters in the same level, right? You were, you were, right. You were, you were, you were piloting the reconnaissance aircraft, the SR-71, and now you're on the ground. In this level, you're playing as Mason. Oh, Hudson. In the last level, you played as Mason. I'm, I'm, I have to say, I, I think having comments on this, this game is amazing looking. I mean, this is definitely a step up from Modern Warfare 2. I mean, no, thank you. Snow, I think, is one of those kind of Rosetta Stones of showing Absolutely. like good well, graphical design. It's got to be mean, perfectly shiny in some spots, and it's got to feel right under your feet. You know, this is, uh, this is a testament. The environment's art team and, and okay, uh, so, so you know, lighting. Okay, so he crossbow. Are you trying to have, like, really awesome weapons that are also sort of time-appropriate from the Cold War era? Yeah, you know, uh, this is actually inspired by, uh, by a couple things. One was when we talked to uh, some of our SOG, they told us that people would actually choose the bow and arrow to go out with. Uh, and uh, so uh, we felt like in this particular mission, we needed to go out with the bow and arrow as well. And this is the AUG, which, 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 you know, these guys would have uh, well in advance before this was ever manufactured and, and mass distributed. Okay, looks like that they're lining up because they're going to do a repel here. Yeah. And so, but you're going to have basically the standard weapon types that we're going to be used to. We're going to have a sniper rifle, and we're going to have a shotgun, Power and we're going to have the crossbow, like just like that. But what you can't, what you, what you don't expect is, you know, these black operations unit. They could, they could outfit themselves, and they would have modified <laughs> weaponry and an ammo. This is almost vertigo-inducing. Yeah. I've seen this before, and I know something very awesome is about to happen, <laughs> and I'm almost sitting here sick with anticipation. So, yeah, you know what? Uh, the repel is an actual gameplay element. It's not just a press X event. Uh, there's tension in it. There's timing. Again, it's all about pacing. It's the setup. And what do you think that fans of the series are going to be most excited about? Obviously, this series has a lot of die-hard fans, um, and sometimes fans don't like change so much, <laughs> but is well, there something that you guys think that they're, that they're really going to make the fans embrace change? I'll tell you in a second. All right. I don't want to. Watch this. Oh, you don't want to ruin it. Okay, yeah, let's see. And... This is awesome. <laughs> So this, so this is what you think the fans of the series are going to be excited about. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, yeah. Who doesn't want to do that? It's, Absolutely. It's, it's, what, 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 what clearly is that we're now looking at a level that's kind of, it's, it's more action movie. I think what we saw before felt a little bit more yeah, towards the sort one. of realism of, of, of combat in a particular era. I mean, are, are you trying to kind of get a balance between the two in the game? Yeah, everything. Really. Variety, pacing, uh, cinematic elements, all that. Those are all key, key areas that we focus on, make our design decisions. It's, yeah, it's, it's definitely very, very impressive. Now, I mean, did, did you guys do research 
on potential operations that may have been happening during the Reagan and Nixon era? Uh, yeah, well, we, we did. We did extensive research throughout the era. We talked to the veterans, and you know, I couldn't tell you if these if these uh, missions I, really occurred or not. But what I can tell you is they're inspired yeah. by. Yes, well, I've that's, been, that's, I've been, that's you know. So you can talk to the veterans about like what ki what types of missions maybe that they went on, and then you're gonna you know, be able to render that actually in in the game. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it is it is an interesting era that I think gives you a lot of variety and stuff to play with. Exactly. It, it t totally opened up burst of creativity inside the studio. Uh, all these black operations, and we learned about them, the, the, the locales, the weaponry. So, uh, yeah, you know, the crossbow here, you had the AUG. Um, we got the shotgun, the fast shotgun. Let's get one more kill in. And... Boom! And the most important question, when are we going to get to play? one is approaching the object. You're going to get to play on November 9th. November All right. 9th. Yeah. Cannot wait. I want to see more of this, so you're more than welcome to visit us on the Thank X Play you. stage. Yes, Treyarch, you've done it. Thank you very All much. Right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Give a round of applause for